YouTube, it's me, Bruno98, and in today's video, we will be reinstalling El Capitan on my MacBook Pro. Now, why are we installing El Capitan? Well, the problem with my MacBook Pro right now is that performance under Mac OS Sierra is utter garbage. It is so slow. And for a machine, I mean, with 16 gigs of RAM, and, you know, I understand it's the base model of the 2011 MacBook Pros, but even then, it still shouldn't be acting this uh, terribly under Mac OS Sierra. So, without further ado, let's get on to this video. Alright guys, so here we are on the iMac, and what we're going to want to do first is go to the App Store, and if you already have El Capitan in the list, then you're good to go. Just download it to the computer. Um, now, if you don't already have it in the list, it's going to be quite a bit harder because it's no longer available to just download, as far as I know, through the uh, Mac App Store. Now, if... Now, what you're also going to want to do is download this application from the link in the description below. It's created by DOSDude1 here on YouTube. It's the Mac OS X USB drive creator. Throw up the about screen here. Um, what this does is it allows you to create a bootable USB installer for Lion, Mountain Lion, Mavericks, Yosemite, El Capitan, and Sierra. You know, Sierra isn't listed here. So what you pretty much do is if you have the application downloaded into your applications folder, you just select whichever version of macOS you're installing. If not, you just go ahead and browse through here and select the one that you need. From there on, you select your target volume, which you know would be your USB drive, and then you hit start operation. So now that that's done, you go ahead and plug it into the computer you're wanting to install the uh, version of OS X on. So let's move over to the MacBook Pro. Alright, so here we are with my MacBook. Let's go ahead and open her up. You see we have our USB drive in here. We're just going to go ahead and boot it holding down the option key. And doing that, we now have access to the OS X boot menu. So I'm going to apologize if you can't see it. Basically, right, so... It's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and select the OS X base system. And it should just start loading the installer. Now I have this USB flash drive partitioned so that I have a backup of some of the most important files I had on this machine, which wasn't a whole lot, and uh, as well as the installer. So, yeah, let's just see how this goes. Now, as stated previously, this is a very slow USB drive. So, well, actually, did I? No, I didn't. The USB drive I'm using is very slow, so I don't expect it to be quick in any sense of the word. And of course, we, I'm using my magic mouse here. Just not going to focus on because it hates it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, re I'm using the magic mouse. So it's actually connected during the, ins the installer, which is pretty awesome. So we're going to go ahead and first things first, go into disk utility. Then from there, we go to SanDisk and Macintosh SSD. And we erase the drive, install it to there, and it, there we go. It's installing. So we'll be back once it has completed.
go. Hit about this Mac. See, we're running OS 10 El Capitan 10.11.6. And under storage, you'll see. Well, if it ever loads today. So, anywho, very uh, clean install, except, you know, OS 10 is just very bloated nowadays. And yeah, already everything seems a hell of a lot smoother. Of course, now I have to set stuff up the way I like it. Oh yeah, I forgot there's no right click set by default. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one.